Hello everybody and welcome to my 13th tutorial on how to create your own RuneScape private server. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a custom shop which only certain people can open with certain rights. Um, this is handy if you want to make a donator shop or a staff shop which no one else but donators and staff can get into. So yeah, anyway to start off with go into NPC handler. This is found in your Zenith source folder and then click source, com, rs, net, decoders and then handlers and there it is. So, after you've found that, just go into your word editor and scroll down to around about line 108. This is where the shops start. So, to read, if you don't know how to make a shop match up with an NPC, there's another video that I've already made, so just look back on it. Um, but anyway, what this pretty much says is if the NPC ID is that, then it will open the shop, whatever that number is. So open shop 19 in this case. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to add some spaces in between the bit of code just to make it so you can see it easier and so you can see what I'm doing easier. Okay, I already pre-prepared this code so it should be in the description. This is like the only code I'll ever actually give you. Um, but So pretty much grab it from the description or pause the video and copy it in if you want to try to learn it a bit more possibly. Um, and then go back to NPC Handler and then underneath here put a space and just paste in your code. Okay, make it look nice. Make it indent properly so it's easier to read. Um, so after you do that, keep pushing it across, making it look pretty, yada yada yada, and there it's pretty. Okay, cool. So after you've done this, what it pretty much means is it says now that if the NPC ID is that, and if the player's rights is that, then it will do this, and if not, then it will do this. So if the player's rights is 1, it will do this, and if it's not, it will do whatever is in here. So, go down to where you left this code that was already there, and just cut it out with Control x and then place it under the get rights, like that. Now it says that if the NPC's ID is that, and the player's rights is that, it will open the shop. Okay, so we need to make something happen if they don't have the correct rights that you've set. So for this, just make it a send message command, which will send them a game message. The easiest way to do this is go player.sm, then do a little bracket, add a string, and say something along the lines of you don't have the correct uh, correct oh my gosh rights to enter this shop something like that and then close the brackets and use a semicolon to close that okay put it enter or return and type in return this pretty much means that you need that it will send this back to that I'm not actually 100 percent sure what return does I sort of know but you just need it there to make it work okay so after you have done that, say this is whole. This is all working now, so this is pretty much finished. So what it says now is if the person clicks on this NPC and their rights is 1, it will open shop 19, and if they don't have rights of 1, then it will send a message saying you don't have the correct rights to enter the shop. Ugh. Okay, so say so you want to change the rights a little bit, so you don't want... So you want everyone above rights 1 to have this, as well as rights 1. You can just delete the second equal sign because as you can see there's two equal signs here so just delete that one and add in a little crocodile mouth and now what that says is if the player get right if the player's rights are equal to or greater than one then it will open the shop so that just pretty much means that anyone with rights one or above can open the shop it works the same way if you put a backwards crocodile, crocodile mouth which just means that if their rights are equal to or less than one then it will open Okay, so I went into my commands.java and found the thing for donator status. This little bit of code right here is pretty much the way of checking rights to see if they have donator status. So I didn't really actually remember what it was, so I just had to go into my other file and find it. So grab that bit of code in your file. You'll find it probably underneath donator zone maybe. Um, go back into NPC handler and just replace the whole rights statement with the donator status. Make sure there's a little bit of a bracket there so it still connects your code together. Okay, so what this says is if the player is donator, then it will do that. And if they aren't, it will say you don't have the correct rights. But you can just change that to you do not have donator to enter the shop or something like that. Now, one thing you need to do to make this actually fully work, like I said, it wasn't, it was sort of finished, but it's not quite finished. I made a mistake in my other video that I uploaded of this, where you need to add in some more brackets. So, what you need to do is just go after where it says if the NPC ID is that, 
put an open bracket, then go right underneath your code and put a close bracket. What this pretty much does is it groups all the spit of code together. Since you have more than one statement, it can sometimes get confused, whereas down here they don't use brackets, so it just assumes it's that. And I don't think I really explained that well, but pretty much it just groups this together, all this stuff to the statement, and makes it run. If you don't have these brackets, it will give you an error about how you have an else without an if, even though the if is right there, and it could be quite confusing. So, hopefully that helped. This is like my 23rd try at doing this video because I've made so many mistakes, and I sometimes muck up the words because, I don't know, I just do, but anyway. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helped you, and there will be some more videos out soon.